Hey trombone friends, I thought I would make a quick video on something that takes up time sometimes in lessons. It's not that it's not important, but it's it's uh, straight ahead information. And if you need this information, there's no reason to use up your one-on-one -on -one lesson time for it. And that is how do you lubricate the slide? Uh, and maybe in other, I'll make other videos on uh, other kinds of maintenance and cleaning and all that kind of stuff. But the, the, you know, lubricating the slide is kind of an essential thing. Uh, I have to admit that I'm terrible. Uh, I, I'll keep playing. I know the slide needs to be redone. And I'm just like, uh, I don't want to be bothered with it. <laughs> and, and then finally, it's just it's getting in the way. And so now I fix it. I remember back in the day, uh, I was so fortunate as a you know, very underdeveloped, player, I got to hang out and do some gigs with the great Bob Stroop in Edmonton. And he was a real slide, finicky slide aficionado. He wanted the best slide at all times. And he would do his slide every single day. In fact, if he had two or three things to do in the same day, he would redo his slide before each performance or rehearsal or wherever it was. Uh, and that's a nicer way to live, I have to admit. So I, ho I hope I can do my slide more often and keep it in better shape. Right now it's not great, but, but I should say that, you know, if I hold it like this and let it go, it just drops. I mean, it's gonna be pretty bad before it starts sticking on the way down. So try not to let it get to that place. Uh, and that's often an indication that there's, there's a dent in there somewhere. And you pretty much have to take it to a shop unless you're way handier than I am. Anyhow, uh, you can buy a slide oils out there and as far as I can tell slide oil is invented so that uh, you know band teachers who have a room full of kids and, and you know the last thing you want is for a whole bunch of kids having water bottles and spraying each other because there's going to be pandemonium. So they give them slide oil and it's probably fine for the, you know, the first two or three years of their development. But when these kids come to me after two or three years of playing and they want to take some lessons, they want to get serious, I say, get yourself some sort of slide cream of any kind, any brand, um, and a water spray bottle. You can buy a special you know, trombone spray bottle, but any spray bottle will do that you can buy at a dollar store or something, or something left over from spraying plant fertilizer or what have you. Just clean it out. Uh, and then of course you're going to need a rag as well. So I'm going to give you two versions of how to deal with that. And one is the quick uh, make it work. And like my slide right now is really all it needs. So I'm going to take it off. And I like to put my slide, you can't see in the video, but I've got it between my knees and my ankles. So it's quite protected. And you know, I've, I've learned to do this when I'm in a, a busy pit and there's people walking by. And the last thing you want is for your slide to get dented because somebody walked by with a French horn or something. And, it's not their fault, it's just everything's crowded. So get it in a place safe, uh, a place safe, a safe place. Uh, don't put it on your music stand or lay it on the floor. You're, you're just asking for trouble. They're so delicate. It's so easy to wreck a slide. It's a really tough instrument and we're tough players, but our slides are very delicate. So I'm just spraying here at the end of the slides. And you probably haven't really seen the video, but there's a little mark here. And on some slides, it's kind of smoothed over, but everybody has it. This part of the slide is called the stockings. And um, it's thicker this way than this part. So this is the only part that's touching the inside of, of, of the outer slide. And if this part is touching the inside of your slide, you need to get it repaired. And no amount of grease or oil or lube or anything is going to fix that. You really need to get it fixed. So I just sprayed that out to get off the old stuff. So this is a kind of a cleaning, but it, obviously it's not cleaning inside this. There's also, you know, leftover gum from my last lubrication in here. So at some point we're going to have to bring it, put it in the tub and spray some water and get a snake down there and just clean it up because it can get, it can get pretty ugly down there. Uh, so now I've got this slide cream. I've got this brand called Trombone Teen. And I don't think it's any better than any other brand. You, you know, Yamaha makes it and Con makes some and you can get, get this stuff all over the place. I'm, I'm putting, this is actually way too much, but I'm putting enough for, for both sides of the slide there. So this is kind of a yucky, gucky thing, but it wipes off very easily. Um, the reason I like Chamontine is because there's kind of a story there. I'm gonna use this right to clean my hands. And then what makes, makes this work is it's the water beating up on top of the cream. It creates this thin film that the slide can uh, and here's the, how do you put the slide on? You put the bottom part so it's kind of 
sitting in there just rocking and then you can easily get this one aimed and it better fit if it doesn't fit if you have to kind of stretch or squeeze them together then there's a problem again down back to the repair shop unless you're extraordinarily handy you know now I do this and I feel like yeah that's okay that's better there's no question but it feels a little bit I can feel the cream it feels a little molasses maybe that was too much so the nice thing is I can take it all off I can wipe all of this off because there's plenty left inside the outer slide give it another spray so we do have that same sense of a bead of water in between the two slides and now that feels great okay that feels really good i mean as far as it, the slide is going to get it's an old slide it's never going to be fantastic but it's great it's certainly not going to get in my way anymore so the story with the tramontine is that it used to be um a face cream that uh, primarily women would use back in England. And I knew some of these, I was very fortunate, I knew some of these old dudes who played in the Coldstream Guards and played in you know, music halls in England and Europe. And these people were virtuosos on a, on a whole different level. The closest thing you'll, you can probably get nowadays to that kind of music, if you listen to like old Looney Tunes soundtracks and how extraordinarily fast and flexible and the outrageous amount of technique that these old players had and, and tremendous for brass players tremendous uh, uh, just loudness and stamina so you're playing in the cold stream guards you could play loud like that outdoors all day and then go for it to do a gig with the, the music hall and they would be saying you've got like 20 acts there's a there's a, a juggler and a singer and a and a dog show or something and they all have different music and the singer's got a cold so can we bring that down a minor third for this so just very quick no rehearsals all that kind of stuff but anyhow those guys told me that they were using you know they tried the oil and it was terrible and so they were using this facial cream like just like we're, I just showed you with a, with a spray bottle or somehow so I think most of they would just spit on it. <laughs> Sorry, but that's that's what they did, and it was great. But it had this perfume in it. It was driving everybody crazy. So a bunch of them got together and they went to the Obotin company and said, "Listen, if you would produce, you know, a small order of these with no perfume, we'll buy it, guaranteed, and all our friends will buy it." And hence, trombotine was was invented. I, just, I like that story, and so <laughs> so that's that's why I buy that kind. Um, now, if you have a slide that's really bad, and I run into some slides sometimes when I'm going doing clinics and stuff in the schools, and the, these slides have been banging up against music stands, and the kids don't get how much they need to be protected, and they haven't suffered long enough with a bad slide to to, to take care, better care of it. Uh, there is a way that you can use that system I just showed you in a kind of a more involved way to kind of resuscitate a really damaged slide and make it make it usable. Um, so maybe if you get a, a, a dent on a gig or something, you, you can make this work. Or you just got a trombone that's really dried out, and, and you know, you, but you need to play this trombone for whatever reason. So again, uh, take the thing off, take the other slide off. I'm going to get out my cream again and this time I'm going to put a ridiculous amount of cream on the slide. This is way too much. I'm putting like four, five, ten times as much as I did before. And you want to smear it around the whole thing. Again, just the stockings. Um, I know lots of, you know, wonderful, intelligent, good players that do the whole slide. But there's, there's, not, <laughs> there's nothing there. It doesn't make contact. Uh, maybe if your slide is really bad, it does, but you know, <laughs> we're still not quite that far along. So again, we'll put it back on, and it just like it feels like you know molasses. I might even put more on, but that'll this will do. And I just kind of really work it, and then I'm going to take it off. I'm going to do this for a while, and I can feel it getting better and smoother. It's actually going to be good. I probably should probably the slide could, could probably use it. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to turn my slide around and put it on backwards. So now it's getting a different kind of a catching some other spots I'm going to miss. I can be very thorough with this system. I can just take the bottom one and go every kind of direction and try to get, get over those little rough spots I can feel and then they kind of go away when I lap them like this. Do the same thing with the upper slide. Work it around every kind of ways. And if I feel like there's something that's catching there and it's really not, not getting better, I might just put a little more cream on there. I know this is crazy, there's way too much cream. 
this through. Okay, so I've got that kind of worked out. And I still have my slide upside down, so I'm going to go the other way now. Put the correct part of the slide on the top. And work that around. And I might spend some time doing this. What I'm doing for you today is kind of the minimum. And I go on the bottom slide again, this time with the correct alignment. And then finally, put the bottom one in first, we'll rock it up to the top. And so that's quite a bit quieter. But of course, it feels like there's molasses on the slide. So I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to wipe it all off, all of it off now. And apply some water. Put that back on and work that. And that's feeling pretty good. But again, it's feeling like it's a little bit too much. So I might need to do this three or four times. Just work it a bit and then wipe off that excess. And I know I learned this from a guy actually played bass trombone in the Hong Kong Symphony. I haven't heard from him in years. I hope he's doing really well. But he's a terrific trombone player and a real character. Uh, and he did, this is just how we did it slide every single time he did it. And I have to admit, it does, does make for a good result. This is way better than what I came up with before. This is pretty good. So I think maybe one more wipe and I'll have it right where I, where I like to have it. And there you have it. So there's a quick way and a more extensive way of getting that slide to its kind of optimal level. Yeah, it feels great. I'm ready to play now. So there you go. Uh, enjoy your playing. Consider every sound you make, every practice, every scale, uh, your chance to really enjoy your music and your playing and get the most out of it. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.